Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing five easy DIY projects to add to your home decor. They can be easily personalized to suit your design style, so let's get started. In this first DIY project, I used this oval wood plaque that I found at a thrift store for only 75 cents, and I also used Mod Podge and a chip brush and one of these fabulous skeleton keys that I found at Michael's on clearance. And for several of our projects in today's video, I use these sheets of scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby on sale for only 25 cents a piece. There are so many fun patterns and pretty colors to choose from. You can definitely find one that suits your design style. I decided to use this black and cream music note print and I cut out a piece to fit the center of the oval shape. I coated the center of the wood plaque with Mod Podge. And then placed the paper on top. Now I should have pressed this down and let it dry before continuing, but I impatiently went right back over it with more Mod Podge and that made the paper wrinkle a little bit, but it's okay. After it had completely dried, I trimmed off the excess paper around the edge and then sanded the paper for a distressed look. And to further the aged look, I used this decorative glaze by Rust-Oleum in Java Brown. You could also use stain or a very thin paint mixture. After coating the entire edge, I took a paper towel and wiped off any excess. After the glaze dried, I took some jute twine and tied it in a crisscross pattern across the front of the plaque and then I looped it through one of the skeleton keys. I really love how this turned out. It has such a great vintage look to it and I think it'll be great to add to little vignettes throughout my decor. You could certainly use ribbon here, but I chose to use the jute twine and I just secured it on the back with a little bit of hot glue. And to complement that project, I used the same technique and applied it to this pedestal sign I purchased on clearance after the autumn season for just a few dollars. You could definitely make this little sign double-sided and that would be really cute, but I just decided to do one side and I chose the other music note paper that I had. And again, I just cut the paper to size and used Mod Podge to adhere it to the surface. and I used the decorative glaze again for the aged look. Hobby Lobby has these rolls of jute twine and also sisal twine. And again, I went with the jute twine so it matched the first project. Also from Hobby Lobby, I purchased this printed burlap and fringed ribbon, but you could certainly use any cardstock paper or fabric scraps that you have on hand. And all I did was cut two little pieces, one bigger and one smaller, and glued them together at the top. And then I cut a small hole for the twine. And I used another skeleton key from the set and hung it from the finial at the top of the sign with ribbon behind it. And here is how it looks all put together. I am loving the vintage French vibe that these two pieces have. And all of the projects that I'm making in this video will be featured in a spring home tour later on. And for the next project, I purchased this paper mache egg at Hobby Lobby at 40% off. To decoupage this egg, I chose this gorgeous floral print paper. I tore it into small strips 
and then used Mod Podge to glue them to the egg. Now I definitely learned a lesson here. As the glue was drying, my fingers got tacky and pulled off some of the paper as I was covering the egg. Luckily for me, I was going for a vintage look, so when I added the glaze, the raw paper just absorbed a lot more of it and made it look very old and vintage and added a lot more character. I then gently wiped off the excess glaze with a dry paper towel And then I wiped it once again with a damp one to lighten it up a bit in some areas. After the glaze dried, I used a dab of hot glue on the bottom of the egg to hold the jute twine in place. I then wrapped the twine around the egg, gluing it at the top and the bottom. And this is how it looked when I was finished. This tarnished silver candlestick is a perfect addition for French country decor and it was a thrift store find for only 99 cents. I added a small piece of floral foam to the top using some hot glue, and then I glued the egg to the foam using more hot glue and holding it in place until it dried. And to embellish the display, I added some floral moss, a few spotted feathers, and a small piece of ribbon. And I just love how this turned out. Speaking of eggs, these moss covered ones are from Hobby Lobby and I got them for 40% off. You can DIY these as well, but these are so inexpensive and they don't shed. All these needed were a little bit of embellishment and I simply wrapped them with some jute twine and added a bit of hot glue to secure it in place. You could certainly add some pretty ribbon, maybe some cute buttons or little dangling charms, but I kept these sort of natural and rustic. The third one got a little bit of burlap, and then I added one of the little spotted feathers to one of the other ones. I added these eggs to one of my spring vignettes. I think they look so pretty and add another layer of texture. I also think that these could be used even after Easter has passed. For the last DIY, I started with this thrift store find, which is perfect for my French country decor style. This wood planter box was a steal for only a dollar. I glued this entire pack of floral foam from the Dollar Tree to the bottom of the box, and I left the plastic on to keep the pieces together and to allow for easy removal if I decided to change it out later on. 
On top of that block of floral foam, I added this harder foam to add height and to create a platform for the centerpiece. Now for this project, you could use any type of ceramic pot that you have, a basket, or any other container that you have on hand to make the arrangement. These muted tones of greenery stems are so on trend right now. I purchased these at Michael's at 50% off. If you wanted a more vibrant color scheme for your spring decor, you could certainly use brighter greenery or any other type of leafy floral stems that you had on hand. I added this greenery around the perimeter of the box. And next, I added these gorgeous blue-green stems, also from Michaels. I added these in the back for height and dimension, and I love the little spiky pods and leaves. They add so much texture to the arrangement. Fill in the gaps and cover the floral foam, I added Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree. This is yet another texture and natural element. These little garden bunnies are from Hobby Lobby and I used the tall one for the centerpiece of the arrangement. Now, if you can find these floral stems at your Dollar Tree, grab them up because they go fast. The soft green, purple, and yellow colors are perfect for spring decor. Whatever you decide to use, just fill in the empty areas around the bunny until you're happy with the way it looks. I wanted him to look like he was peeking up out from the flower garden. I know people say less is more, but I say more is more, and so I'm adding even more textures with this floral spray from Hobby Lobby. And to add a pop of color, I added these bright orange flowers that are also from Hobby Lobby. Any accent color would look beautiful in this arrangement. A soft or bright pink, coral, bright purple or lavender, or maybe a vibrant yellow. And here is the finished spring floral arrangement. I absolutely love it. I love all of the colors, layers, and textures. And I know that you could recreate this and add your own design flair to it. And if you do, please share a photo of it and tag me on Instagram at The Painted South. I would absolutely love to see your version of any of the five DIY projects in today's video. I hope this video inspired you to create a new decor piece for your home for this spring season. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.